I'm so glad I didn't schedule this as a live interview. I know, right? That would have been awkward. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honestly, honestly, dude, I, I'm I'm so grateful for the ability to edit. But I mean, once we start actually talking, for the most part, I don't edit anything unless someone asks me to edit out something specific. So, I okay. uh, yeah, I'm so. Dead. Yeah, once we start talking, I'm I I'm, everything's gonna be raw, um, unless you tell me okay. otherwise. Yeah. Oh so. no, no, that's fine. That's great. Yeah. All right. Well, I think I think the lighting's a little better here. Than yeah, you look great. You too, man. I I like your oh, setup. Nice. I don't really have a setup. I'm just hanging out in my garage. Yeah. <laughs> no. You know it. Um. Because I do like online um workshops and stuff like that. It just was something that I I saw other YouTubers and stuff like that doing it and I just was like ah, I might as well so I yeah I like it I like it a lot yeah. that's yeah the lighting in the back is really cool yeah it's kind of cool yeah um that was uh that was my uh Christmas present so <laughs> that is a good Christmas present who uh, from yeah. from uh who Morgan yeah my fiance oh awesome <laughs> yeah yeah and I also Very have a cool. dog here you can't see her because she's very oh, she's black. Very, yeah, but she she may make an appearance <laughs> and pop up here and there. So, but yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> I, I guess I could get my dogs too, but they they're they're in bed with the wife at the moment. Oh yeah, well we don't want to disrupt that. That that's yeah. <laughs> that's, uh, the, yeah they they <laughs> they kind of bounce back and forth between us when we're we're not like awake and she's sleeping, but sure. Anyway. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Uh, so you have two? Yeah, two, two little pups. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> so, man, um, Pastor Doran, Pastor Tim Doran, Reverend uh, Tim Doran. Um, well, I, I don't I, know. I Are you pastor? But yeah. <laughs> okay. Were you? Did you? Did you receive an official ordination? No, no, not, okay. not like okay. that. No. All right. Yeah, I, so. The I reason... went to the same school as you. Yes. Uh, I went to Rama. Yes. Uh, and no, I was just really active in the church. I wasn't a pastor. I I was uh, I was I was very active, and I was just uh, teaching Sunday school essentially. Gotcha. Uh, for I would occasionally would speak like on a Wednesday day or something, but um, that just yeah. happened a few times. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. So the reason that we're having this conversation and the reason that I introduced you as pastor and, and or reverend is because, like you said, we did attend, uh, we both attended the same Bible school and we both, I got the two-year pastoral <clears throat> ministry uh, uh, certification or degree or diploma. What, which program did you go through? So I was in the evangelism program. So okay. uh, we had okay. a lot of the same classes, but then we had quite a few different ones. So yeah, yeah, yeah. And um, so evangelism program was mostly geared towards people that really felt like that their uh, calling, as what we we kind of refer to it, yes. uh, <laughs> was to proselytize, and it was going to be your your job to spread the gospel of Jesus Christ across the entire globe. Right. I mean, was that your kind yes, of yeah. Yep, yeah. We went on, uh, we went on my, my wife and I, we went on several mission trips together. Um, okay. and then we did like street evangelism, um, right. in our city in, and other cities. What is a, uh, a mission if, for just like a layman? What, what, what is a mission trip? Oh, sure. Okay, well, it involves usually like a few different things, um, street preaching, evangelizing, uh, visiting some schools, uh, okay. and then there was like some big rallies or meetings at night where there'd be like thousands of people. Um, yeah, it was pretty intense. Um, what would I guess happen? my favorite... Like, what, what was the goal? Oh, I, I mean, to convert people to our version of Christianity. Gotcha. Okay, sure. Yeah. And so uh, how many mission trips did you go on? 
Uh, let's see. Three. Okay. So, so you've been you've been uh, on three world mission trips. Uh, which countries? Uh, Mexico, uh, Peru, uh, and then I guess just out of state ones, but not. Okay. I guess Canada, but that doesn't really count. <laughs> I mean, I guess it kind of counts. But. No, Ca Canada needs to be converted immediately. They are so gross with their amoral, immoral behavior. Um, yeah. So we need to get up there. That, right that one wasn't really, that was just uh, doing a little bit of preaching up there. It wasn't like the Mexico or sure. Peru yeah. uh, mission strikes. Right. Okay, right on. Yeah. Um, and so, you know, the reason I reached out to you initially and the reason that we kind of reconnected uh, was on kind of a mutual uh, journey that, that you know, I became an atheist through uh, different avenues and kind of realized that I couldn't, couldn't really justify my belief system uh, really anymore and, and didn't have a real good reason to hold on to it. And you kind of... Uh, came across the journey in the same way and uh you and i were both yeah. very, we were very committed believers i mean I, I i i was a believer like i really believed it and yeah uh, me too so, you know i practiced it and uh i was a, even a traveling healing evangelist for a while and um I was an associate pastor in a church in Texas. I ran a halfway house that was uh, owned by the same ministry, a nonprofit. And uh, I had nine different gentlemen, you know, answering to me, Bible studies all the time and prayer together and all this stuff. And I mean, I was, I was convinced. I was, I was very yeah. convinced. Yeah, yeah, me too. And um, so my journey out of that uh, being convinced was very, it wasn't like instantaneous, you know, there wasn't a, I can't recall a moment when I became an atheist. It was, it was a gradual journey. I know when I realized it, I know the moment I realized it, but it was a gradual journey for me. Um, what was your, what, what, where did it begin? Where, if you were to point back to where it started for you, what, what was it that, ended up in your deconversion and, and your, your journey. Oh goodness. And that's similar to you. It wasn't like a singular moment. It was very gradual. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we could, <laughs> it was more of my beliefs just kept adjusting. I was trying to make sense of my beliefs with what I understood was reality. Uh, okay. And I was just constantly changing my theology to eventually my theology wasn't making any sense. Um, gotcha. So it probably started. I mean, I, I don't know if really started is the right word, but I changed my beliefs maybe when I was like 19 um, from like being like a young earth creationist to more of a old earth creationist. Um but that was really like the start of me trying to figure out what was true. Cause I was I, I, like, I was raised as a Christian. Sure. Uh, I was, I was in either I was homeschooled or was in a private school, yeah. uh, like a religious private school. So uh, I, I was just kind of fed everything, but then, then I started to went to, when you, when you say, when you say you were fed everything, what do you what do you mean by like you were just told what to believe or what do you mean? Yeah, yeah, essentially. I mean, it wasn't really like um, I'm going to discover this. It was like all my textbooks were religious and all my uh, family and friends were religious. And so that was just what we believed. Yeah. So it wasn't yeah. really. Yeah, it was just. Yeah. I mean, we, you know, we had like apologetics courses of like defending your faith and uh, you know, we believe this because of this and all that. Um, yeah. We had like a lot of education, but it wasn't, I didn't ever get really exposed to other thoughts. Uh, I, I mean, like I was exposed to other thoughts, but it was in a Christian environment. Yeah. From the Judeo-Christian perspective and constantly viewing it in, in light yeah. of how we yeah. view you know, the us versus the others 
This is this is how they do it, type of thing. Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> I, I I think maybe my journey maybe began in astronomy class. Um, okay. And yeah, that yeah. sounds really silly, but not at all um, to me. <laughs> like you know, you learned about like how far stars are from yeah. the Earth, and right, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then you're like, wait a minute, the star is like. <laughs> two billion light years away like that doesn't sound like young earth creationism and then you know you're trying <laughs> to make work? sense of it <laughs> yeah <laughs> and you're like wait how long does it take for a black hole to become a black hole like why would god just create a star that's like already a black hole and went supernova and all that like uh like that doesn't make any sense like my god's not deceptive and that seems deceptive did so, you do that? Did you go astronomy class in high school, or was this was this pre rama that you started yeah, having these questions? Was, yeah, this was pre rama Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. Because those aren't yeah. the type of questions that people ask at Rama. Ah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody's thinking about that. <laughs> they're thinking. No. <laughs> to, they're trying to square their circle of theology. You know, like. Yeah. No. Rama's yeah. more of theology. Like you already answer the questions about like yeah. is Christianity true. You're just like trying to figure out all the nitty gritty of it. Yeah, yeah. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. No, I I went to uh, community college prior to Rama. Oh, um, just sure. worked on my generals. I did um, too. And then, yeah, yeah. So, like my thought was, I wanted to like figure out what I believed and why I believed in, and that was like yeah. that was a main goal for Rama was. Like, hey, I'll want to figure out what I believe, have a foundation in it, like get a good relationship with Jesus and then move on from there. Whether that's working in the ministry or working in the ministry and working outside the ministry. So that was that was my goals uh, for going there. Yeah. Um, but it worked right. out. I got to meet Annie and, yeah. and other people like you. Yeah, uh, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. And so um, Annie is your wife, and is she okay with being uh, named here? So yeah, yeah. I okay. I don't know. Actually, I haven't really talked to her about it, and she knows I'm talking to you. But okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, that uh, might be something that we uh, snip out and cut. But <laughs> but anyway, okay. uh, yeah. Uh, just to make sure, I want to make sure everybody's cool. Uh, yeah, but, no, I appreciate it. Yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, no, so you you if you could point back you'd say probably it all originated in astronomy oh, you started, yes. you started so learning. I, yeah so that that really just made me think about like my theology a little bit more critically and sure. like oh yeah. like uh, i was often told like young earth creationism was true um yep. evolution's false big yep. bang false all yep. sciencey stuff bad um yeah. not not necessarily bad not um, not necessarily but like yeah yeah of course they want you to think that type of thing. yeah yeah but we ultimately know the truth and yeah but you know I, I mean i was i was like pretty confident but i was also like i want to know what's true and i i shouldn't be afraid to ask questions um yeah. Yeah. and like the truth is on my side so why should i be afraid of it uh, yeah, if if I'm correct, if my faith is right, yeah, how like, how is any level of investigation ever going to hurt me? How? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. So right, like it it only justifies and further proves what I know to be true if what I know to be true is true. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I I wasn't afraid to ask questions. I. I uh, emailed answers in Genesis. It was like a young earth creationist. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Still exists. Uh, uh, they're, they're still around. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, they actually but, now uh, do admit, though, that a lot of the young earth creationist claims are not good. Like they they have they have justified and squared the circle with evolution and what we know about modern cosmology. They've updated really? it. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I, yeah. It's been a while since yeah. I was corresponding with. Yeah. Them, Answers but... in Genesis actually accepts an old Earth now. Oh, interesting. Yeah. You know, I'm, yeah. hey, I, I mean that's great uh, progress. <laughs> I 
<laughs> yeah, yeah exactly right. Them, yeah, yeah, at least they've updated that. And, and the, the answers they were giving me were just so bad. Um, yeah. And that was like, as a perspective, as I was a young earth creationist at the time. And yeah. Yeah. I was like, wow, the, like the questions I'm asking, like I'm being sincere and like, I really want to know. And yeah, like the, the reasons they gave were just so bad. And I was like, oh, this doesn't seem right at all. <laughs> um, so moving on, like, I, I don't know. I, I corresponded with them a little bit and sure. Um, sure. I just wasn't satisfied with anything that they said. But that's uh, not where, you, that's not, that's not what deconverted you though. You, you, I oh mean, goodness you no believer. yeah no no not at all i just think <laughs> from like uh, believing that uh, like accepting more of like mainstream uh views on science and whatnot yeah. Um, yeah, yeah. as far as cosmology goes but yeah no i i still absolutely believe like that wasn't yeah. Yeah. when i say that was the beginning like that wasn't really the beginning of doubt that was more the beginning of trying but to kind of show where things halfway and how, how yeah. you go about trying to find answers and that you you actually did reach out to the experts in the at, in the field at the t- experts yeah the, the expert you know yeah to, and I bought a bunch answer. of books uh yeah. at my church like about um creationism and sure. evolution yeah. Yeah. big thing yeah. all that stuff can, can uh, handle try, stuff try. <laughs> it, yeah <laughs> <Some other stuff too. laughs> um yeah yeah. so graduated from rama um got married had kids um and then someone who also graduated from rama yeah yep yeah and uh i mean worked in the church um and but as i was working i was meeting a lot of people from a lot of other cultures and religions and yeah, uh, there was this one lady, uh, really, really nice lady, uh, uh, Hindu lady, and she was extremely adamant uh, about her faith. Um, yeah. Yeah. And that, like, so sincere, so adamant. And yeah. um, what we would call mythology, uh, she took as history. Um, okay. So, so similar to like how was it Hindu? Uh, was it a Hindu? Hindu. Yep. Yeah. yep. Okay. Yep. Hindus. Yep. yep. Um, and I'm, and like me as an outsider, I was like, this is obviously it, um, mythology. And I yeah. had actually yeah. went yeah. to, uh, they, they have like this big, um, Indian celebration in Minnesota. Yeah. Um, every year, it's really fun. They have all sorts of like, um. Dancing Indians are amazing. Music. They're so fun. Like Best I love Holi ever. and all that. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. The Festival of Lights um, and all that shit. Yeah, it's all oh, fun. Oh yeah. 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 So so I they were I so I went with with uh this Indian family and and they were like, oh yeah. So they're dancing our history. And I'm like, oh, okay, so this is not like Hindu mythology, like and they're like, no this really happened and I was like oh like they were very adamant that like this is history and then I'm like oh my goodness it's like like kind of how I view view, like the old testament like oh like the Noah flood no this is history like the Moses parting the red sea really happened had to really happen yeah Yeah, yeah. this all really happened um yeah and and I'm thinking, like, oh, come on. This is this obviously is like, didn't happen. This is, this is obviously <laughs> mythology. Like, but here I am, like, oh, well. So you were like, faced I, with a mirror of what you felt like was your yeah. own system. Yeah. Yeah. And I, yeah. I, I just had a lot of instances like that. I wouldn't say that, like, it. Yeah, like, that didn't do it my for faith. Yeah. No, it was just, like, just a, another little cut. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I agree. Think, it's not like, one thing. It's it's a it's very many steps on the way. Yeah, to, I mean, to, we're, we're like this, our life this is, is a just thing like, we it, we revolved around it. Yeah, like oh my goodness, yeah, it's it's everything. <laughs> it like 
This was my life source. I was guaranteed eternal salvation and heaven and everything will work out according to your good if you're in this system. And if you two or three believers are gathered together and pray anything in my name, they will receive it and you can move mountains with this faith. And I mean, this was a system that was amazing. I mean, just glorious. And so abandoning it was not an easy, people just like, (laughs) dismiss me no. like whenever they find out i'm an atheist it's such a dismissal like somebody hurt you you know or i know, you oh, know. Yeah. i didn't give it any thought at all <laughs> <laughs> like the no, way the way i'm like, dismissed as if i didn't spend years <laughs> fucking dedicated to this on a level that people wouldn't even comprehend and studied it exactly and and then just what? to dismiss like my <laughs> abandonment of it, like it was just like me. <laughs> no, <laughs> exactly. No, no. And I, I, I would say like, gosh, the the first time that I thought maybe I doubted, oh yeah, um, it. I don't think that I actually then said i was an atheist for like two yeah, years no way. what a gross word dude oh it is a really gross <laughs> word for sure like <laughs> i mean i was yeah, taught from a young age it's just if you're that ugh, that's the worst <laughs> thing you could possibly be oh my goodness yeah no for for real it yeah. the uh unfortunately uh that word or those kinds of people are at least in my circles they were uh it was it was very bad yeah like yeah the worst (laughs) yeah 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 they have where did their morals come from i mean that's that's one of the first things that i always got like oh anybody that doesn't believe in a god they cannot be moral like how where would it come from how possible how possibly (laughs) could you ever know not to kill someone if someone didn't tell you i I just don't know (laughs) i don't know where that would come from yeah (laughs) <laughs> yeah, but that that has wouldn't, definitely been thrown at all, me a lot. Wouldn't we all just run around and and rape and murder and pillage if we didn't have a god? Wouldn't we? I mean, wouldn't we? I know. It's, it's like I've uh, raped as much as I've wanted to. Which is <laughs> yeah, uh, uh, pendulous <laughs> famous yeah famous quote. Yeah, I, I rape and murder everybody I want to, which is zero. <laughs> which is zero. Yes. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, so. Uh, you know, that sort of got me curious about uh, going back to just learning about other people. Um, yeah. it, it, I've always liked, liked to learn about things. So yeah. I, would, I would listen to like a lot of classes um, on Audible. Uh, yeah. And there was, there was this one class uh, about Egypt. And it's okay. really cool. Really yeah. cool class. Um, <clears throat> Did you and have a chance this... to listen to the audiobook by Francesca yet? Oh, yeah. I'm in the middle of it right now. It's, I'm not it's done with good, it, but huh? it's really good. It's good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Anyway, continue. Yeah. Thanks for the recommendation. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Great book. So there, there was this, um, there was this pharaoh um, that had this necklace, and yeah. he went out on a boat, mm-hmm. and he, he, uh, one of his servants or lady friends um he had given the necklace to and she dropped it well uh, basically it was a bunch of naked women with fishnets according to the story but anyways (laughs) yeah by the way yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) so he drops the the she drops the uh, necklace into the water and She's all distraught, like, oh, no, I lost, I, like, this necklace that the king gave me is, like, um, on the bottom of this river or whatever, and, and so she's all distraught and crying, and so the king's like, oh, don't worry, so they land the boat, and then he calls his high priest over, and the high priest, like, does this spell and lifts up his hands and the water parts, and then the the pharaoh walks and gets the necklace and then walks back. And okay. then so there's like a wall of water 
on both like, sides. <clears throat> caving away. Sure. And then he, he walks I, back. That sounds like and something then, else I've heard. And then the high priest <laughs> then like does like the spell and then the, the water falls. And then after that, they they like sing praises and like have a big celebration. And I'm like, my goodness, this sounds really familiar. And I'm like, when did this happen? And this was like one of this was when one oh goodness, I'm trying to remember the name of the pharaoh, but it's like one of the first pharaohs that built um the first three pyramids. Um, my fiance would know Morgan uh, her it's, whole it's been a, it's been a few years since I uh listened to this class, but her wow, degree is that's... ancient Greek mythology, but she oh that's classes. awesome. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So I constantly yeah. she's she she's better with the actual dates of things. I my dates honestly center around uh Paul's missions. I don't know why, but I, I'm oh like, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I'm I I try I regulate almost everything I think around when did Paul do X. Like that's kind of what I I that's how I uh determine time, but because she wasn't indoctrinated with the same Gregorian calendar type of thing, that's not something that she even is saddled with. So yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Yeah. So she so yeah. so yeah, little things like that. I'm like, well, that seems like a familiar story. Um it it kind of yeah, just like those little things like that. Um, yeah. Same thing with the Noah story, like with the flood, how there was all these other uh, stories prior to the Noah myth. Um, and at the time, I was viewing the Bible as like history. Um, yeah. And then I'm like, my goodness, this this is more like mythology. Like I'm reading, yeah. I'm reading mythology, but because I grew up with it, it wasn't mythology. It was like it's history. history. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, but yeah. then you have like Jesus, who's referencing these stories as if it was history. I'm like, well, that's yes. odd. Like, you think that like an all-knowing God would, whose name is Jesus, would realize that this isn't this isn't history. This is like mythology, and yeah. and Jesus is talking about it like it, these things really happen. Like, yeah. we could take a video camera and record all these events. Um, and, and I'm already I'm already hearing all of the, uh, you know, hmm. like uh, red flag waivers that are like, oh, you had the wrong version of Christianity. Yeah. That's why, yep. you, that's yeah. why you're messed up. Or. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, I know. I, I you know. You just that. called Jesus God. God. Jesus was never God. He was <laughs> God. You know, it's the Trinity. Oh, you believed in the Trinity. That's why. Oh, you're sure. Fucking, you know, yeah. you're going to. Yeah. We'll get, yeah. We'll get everything so, in the world know, that. You're Just the wrong to, type like, of Christian. Yeah. yeah or the absolutely. wrong type of God believer in general. And yeah, a hundred percent. And I mean, just, yeah. just kind of how uh, I was a young earth creationist and I was an older earth creationist. Yeah. And then, you know, I'm, I'm just trying to learn things and then match my theology with what I'm discovering in this uh, world. Right. Like what really yes. happened. So, yes. So, I'm not but necessarily come to not a, a Christian. Come to a point, though where you can't do it anymore like exactly the, you yeah. can't make it work anymore it doesn't work it breaks down at some point where it's just like i've done everything i can to justify <laughs> this shit and yes. at some point yeah i, can't, I can't do it anymore you know and um i my breaking point um was different from yours i think but i i still want to continue listening to your story because i think it's very interesting yeah so um and these are all just like little events like yeah. that happened over the years sure. um uh one big one was i went back to school uh to northwestern which is a very conservative christian university sure. um, in minnesota yeah. it's like yeah. billy graham's university Oh wow! So Bap uh, was he Southern Baptist? Yeah, it was Baptist. Okay, okay. Time, sure. But, yeah. Um, some, some form of Baptist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A very, very conservative uh, university. Um, I enjoyed my time there. It was fine. Um, actually, this so this one professor, um, he taught 
uh, he was a science teacher and he taught evolution. And at the time, I did not believe in evolution at all. Um, and he taught basically evolution. And then he, you know, kind of threw a bone for creationists. Because at our school, most of the students were creationists. Like, okay. There, there was not very many people that uh, believed in theistic evolution. But my professor wow. did. <clears throat> yeah, sure. Anyways. So, I mean, the class wasn't specific. And he was still a theist. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, he didn't have, my he didn't professor, have a problem. No conflict between the theory of evolution and him still justifying that th that there is a god. Oh no, not, not yeah. Okay. Okay. Yep. Cool. Um. Yep. So, I, I would, I was normally very defensive when it came to that topic, but sure. he was, um, he was like really nice to me um <clears throat> like i i i had like a few rough periods uh when i was going through that class and he like pulled us pulled me aside and like like emotionally you felt like that you were you were having you were like you were having emotional problems with what you were oh no outside or? of no uh outside of that like my oh, okay. my oh, dad okay. gotcha. at the time he had been sure uh so this professor was kind family stuff he was very kind Got um it. and so yeah. that that like brought my defenses down um gotcha. and i'm like okay. you know what like this is a good man he's a christian like i'm gonna hear what he has to say um wow. and, and i think that like building rapport with people is really important like right you know <laughs> like if if you're gonna have a, like a conversation with someone and you don't like respect them and and you're having and you're talking with them. I don't think that you like receive as much from them. So um, Iron I, ironically, I agree. Mm -hmm. And then also whenever I'm uh educating like uh law enforcement officers on, on body language and deception, I often will okay. I often will uh tell them to be very uh, wary when someone is trying to establish rapport. Oh, that, that there, well, that's that fascinating. It's, that it's, yeah, that, it, that there's okay. a good potential that that is the type of person that you can't trust. Oh, don't, can't trust. Okay. Well, I don't think or, that, or that you should, you should be, build a rapport because he was trying to like manipulate me. It was just like, no, no, no. I, I know, I know. Nice person. I but know, I hear what I you're know. saying. It, it's, I a, it's, like it's a different in, industry and actually unrelated. It's it's just something that's <laughs> no. It, that's I really just, interesting though. Like I, I think it's great that he. I actually do think that if you are a genuine person wanting to have a relationship with another individual, that rapport is absolutely uh, yeah. Active. It's something and, that we all seek. We we all need. Uh, yeah. And, um, it's also yeah. a tool and, for con men. <laughs> so <laughs> I guess it works both ways. Um, but it wasn't yeah. like he was trying to build rapport because he was trying yeah. to teach me evolution no. or something. Like no, that was no, literally no. just like no, no, it no. was like two weeks of study. It wasn't yeah. like the yeah, whole yeah. semester. But your your um, guard came down. Um, yeah, and then I'm like, in, in oh Georgia. man, this actually makes a bit of sense. I should probably like look into it a little bit more. So then I read, um, I don't know if you know who Francis Collins is. He oh, is, yeah, of course, a, the uh, director of the Human yeah. Genome Project. Yeah, so I read yeah, his yeah. books, and he's a Christian as well. Yeah. Um, and so that made me like, oh, like, yeah, my defenses absolutely. were down again. And then I'm like, oh, this actually makes a lot of sense. Sure. Um, yeah. But then I was like, oh, man. I'm already like trying to make sense of the world and theology. Right. And then evolution comes along and then I'm like, wait a minute. If evolution is true, there was like no first human. Like mm. there's no such yeah, thing. No, as no such thing as an Adam and Eve. Can't. can't yeah. Actually... And, and the thing is, is that means then that species are, there's not like a black and white line. There's not like, no. oh, this this mom and dad come together and they love each other and the mom and dad are not humans. Yeah. And then the baby's born and that one's a human. Like, right. 
that's not how it works. Like yeah. everything is very great. Like, yes. Yeah. Uh, and then I'm like, wait a minute. So what has a spirit and what doesn't? I'm like, <laughs> like that really bothered me. Like, so and where's much. the line? Where's the line of delineation? Where's the line? Mean? Like, when when does what, it occur? When does it pop into existence? All this yeah, stuff. like so so okay so, and then I find out like oh there's a whole bunch of like sapiens that were walking around like various nope. times like, our like, same things sapiens. that we actually interbred with and i'm like oh my yeah. goodness there <laughs> there is a lot of different ones like over yep. the last yep five hundred yep. thousand million years and i'm Tim, like hey oh we, can we take a time out real quick let's time out yeah sure okay okay i think there it is okay there we go hi all right <laughs> awesome perfect Cool. All right. Me breaking the continuity of thought. I'm so sorry. Oh but... no, that's okay. That's that's fine. I totally get it. <laughs> uh, yeah. So so all these other species of human, I guess, or sapiens. It. I'm like, well, do they go to heaven or hell? Uh, to, because we like... know we were evolving alongside them. <laughs> yeah. And mm-hmm. and. Uh, a version of them became us. Like, at what point did a human start to acquire a spirit? Yeah, like when were we like... the when were we the product that God wanted and started in yes. doing with His like, nature? Yeah. Yes, I, exactly. Like, are we, yeah, yeah, we're yeah. created in the we're, image of God, or like, when is that? Yeah, well, like, how does that when, occur? Yeah, what sort of image is that exactly? And like when like so bill and jill have a kid and they don't have a spirit but now their baby son billy does yeah because it was the right genetic composition that god wanted yeah it it doesn't make any sense like it just seems very and aren't we technically homo sapiens aren't we like like homo sapiens Mm -hmm. i I, I thought we were i thought we were like homo homo sapiens like we're actually homo sapiens sapiens yeah yes homo sapiens sapiens yes <laughs> it's, yeah. i mean it's yeah. like it's like a great yeah, you, you have to continue it's... and that's what everybody says like we're going to continue to have to add to it as we evolve yeah exactly. there's no other way so, to do it yeah. in like another five hundred thousand years are we going to be lot exactly of these how things... we are right now like yeah and a then... lot of these lines of delineation become arbitrary only Extremely it depends on arbitrary. what you're talking about it depends <laughs> on what you're talking about it's like whenever people ask me about mm-hmm. different races it's like we're the human race like we, we're we consist of all of the races it's it's all the race, it's yeah. human race it's a it's variety of a race you know <laughs> but we're all one race you know i start you know, yeah but as no, that, yeah that's i get to i get to play example. that card because i'm cherokee so i get to okay. you know <laughs> yeah, so that's so like what's the classic classification of being white? Sure. Yeah, like when so, does that uh, when do you become Caucasian? Is it Cherokee white is Latino white is Hispanic white? Yeah, is, I mean I mean you can be people both from Spain. Like so it's it, so that going yeah, back to the yeah. spirit is yeah. Well, do they have a spirit? Yeah, they yeah. don't have a yeah, spirit, yeah, etc. Yeah. So that yeah. That actually really bothered me a lot. Yeah, right. Like, right. And and the thing is, is with belief, is we all have our points of I believe something or I don't believe something, and we don't really yeah, get yeah, to yeah. pick it. It's just like that's all these true. That's events. that's something. Can you elaborate mm-hmm. on that? What you just said, like we don't really yes. get to choose or pick our beliefs. And and I'm gonna. And that that was actually something that I'm going to go to that had a significant impact on me because well while this is all happening, I am like starting to doubt mm. and <clears throat> like I'm you know mulling over were you all conscious these. were you conscious that you were starting to doubt? I was it was it was slow and okay. then it started getting more intense. And so I, I went to I like don't know uh, that I was ever conscious that I would what I was doubting. I, I'm, so, I'm I, I'm actually perplexed by that. 
that I, I don't ever remember a time that I was, I wasn't seeking to doubt, you know what I mean? Like it, it yes. never, it never occurred to me that I was beginning to doubt this thing. So Is initially that- I, yeah, no, I understand what you're saying. Initially yeah. I wasn't, yeah. but yeah. um, eventually I was. Um, and okay. Okay. I yeah, remember yeah. going um, to this Bible retreat um, mm. with my church and I was talking with my pastor i had like can i ask you to define what a bible retreat is oh sure it was actually really fun um it was basically i know i know it's a camping trip where you get to hang out and and learn about god yeah uh so it was like it's basically i I just i want that for people that aren't familiar with don't get it yeah so that's true I yeah. know we live, we like grew up in this, and it's just like, <laughs> yeah. So, you say, Bible we all know what it is, yeah. Like, come on, yeah. it's a Bible retreat, you know, it's a Bible retreat. What the fuck are you talking about? It's, yeah, it's you basically, you have like um, worship service, like after breakfast, and then there's like usually like a theme of some sort, sure. um, yeah. and then um, you have like some of the various speakers that talk. And then you'll do like various activities, like whether they're spiritual, and then you'll have like a break and we play like flag football. Um, yeah. And yeah. have some free time. And then we would go to another service and then, you know, hang out with your friends at night or whatever. Um, yeah. It's, it's like a summer, you, camp, summer camp for adults. To yeah. Yeah. Get closer to each other, build relationships, yeah. learn about yeah. their, mm-hmm. what their belief system and, and yeah. and it is unfortunately also an echo chamber of those beliefs, and yeah, definitely kind of <laughs> solidifies them in a way that you can't conjure up, like you can't pr- reproduce that, you know, that circular and in, in you know insular <laughs> community in any other way. Like you, you can't yes. reproduce that in normal, you know. It, it's it's very impactful. You you want one of those things that <laughs> just very influenced. Usually. Oh yeah. 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 <clears throat> yeah. I would say so. How can sure. you avoid it? You know, I mean that's what they're designed for. You, yeah, you, for sure. You're it's getting your exactly what it is you're going for. Yeah. And uh, uh have a better relationship with God and all that. That's a, yeah. kind of the yeah. goals. Absolutely. Um, so I had like a couple of meetings like with my pastor, like privately, like one on one. Okay. And yeah. I was expressing my doubts and like I was like crying and like it was mm-hmm. like I mean it was Man, big. I'm so sorry, dude. <clears throat> it was like it it sounds weird, but it was almost felt like I was getting like a divorce or something. Yeah. Um, no, it like, is like it it's, was like breaking my traumatic. heart. Like I was I was like dude, wanting to believe. I cried and then, my then I was eyes like, out when I admitted <laughs> that I didn't believe anymore. Oh, yeah, I mean, I did it a bunch of times, and and and, and yeah. at that point, I don't even know if I was necessarily completely gone at that point, yeah. but I was like yeah. struggling to try to. Um, you couldn't try to reconcile regain. all of these things. You're, yeah, you're, yeah, you're struggling, you're, struggling. I was just struggling so much, and yeah. I remember like reading a bunch of like books, um, <laughs> trying to restore my faith. Um, did you leave, and, read all of Lee Strobel? I didn't read all of Lee, Lee Strobel. I read some did of you, Lee Strobel. Did Case you leave, for Christ. And you wrote <laughs> and you read C.S. Lewis. Uh, yes. And uh know. let's see. I don't have enough faith to be an atheist. <laughs> yeah. Um yeah, 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 yeah. I'm trying to think some of their ones. Um yeah, Turek. a few C.S. Lewis Turek. books. <laughs> yeah. Turek. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. William Lane Craig. Uh, you you want them you want them to be good you want it you want the arguments to hit man you you're looking yeah. for evidence you want it to be yeah. real oh, no. yeah. give me yeah. something i was so <laughs> and, and at that time like i was very worried um because all my friends and oh, closest it hurts friends, me so bad dude it hurts because i, I feel your pain i'm sitting here yeah listening. like all it all hurts. of all of <laughs> my my inner circle Everyone yeah. that I love the most, yeah, um, were yeah were in our Christians, and yeah. so I like and good I, people. I didn't, Such good I did people. not want to be, <laughs> I did not want to lose my faith. Like, 
I, like so I was trying I and know. then I'm like dang it I like know. and and then I wanted the it process, to be true so bad yeah I and I realized it. like I don't I don't get to like pick what I believe like I don't no. get to choose like I can't well this yeah. makes sense like I can't like, make I keep reading believe two plus two equals five like I can't yeah. just like no I can't make myself believe that <clears throat> yeah it just doesn't work it'd be awesome and, if I could <laughs> yeah and and that was like something that bothered me too because I'm like yeah. well yeah I'm trying so hard to believe yeah, yeah. and like Christianity, so much emphasis is on faith and belief yes. and yes. like believe on the Lord yes. Jesus Christ and you'll be saved. Yes. And yes. I'm like, wait a minute, I can't even choose to do that. Like, yeah. Even if I wanted to, you give me a billion no, I, dollars and I, I, I have to have evidence it. to believe yeah. a thing. I, I cannot, <laughs> I can't remove myself from that now that I've been trained that that is the appropriate way to evaluate claims. You can't ask me to remove that part of my skepticism and my ability to reason from this claim too. I, I yeah. How how do you expect me to do that? I was taught <laughs> to reason. I was taught to use logic. I was. You led me to the epistemic tools. So you know the the, the environment led me to the epistemic tools that where I arrived at this decision, yes. I really can't do anything other than accept that. And, and yeah. to ask me to continue to believe a thing on so-called uh, a thing, a tool called faith, I, I just don't understand why I would use that tool in this instance when I don't use that tool in any other uh Anything else that I'm ever asked to question, I don't get asked to use faith. I I, I just don't. <laughs> exactly. I, I, you know? <laughs> and, and okay, so people, it seems like these beliefs are more like cultural things. Like they're yes. all divided, yeah. not so much anymore, but in the past, like these beliefs were divided by borders and yeah, oh yeah. Yeah, everyone yeah, yeah. was arriving at different conclusions and i'm like well everyone was still arriving that two plus two equals four no matter where you are like whether yeah. you're in like yeah, yeah. south america yeah. or europe or asia or whatever but like if it's so important to be a christian like why why was it by border like why did why didn't everyone land on that like right. no matter right. where you live um right. and that that really bothered me a lot too like hmm. what <clears throat> like why why did the all-powerful all-loving all-seeing god <laughs> make boundaries where this message would be able to to originate from is that kind of what you're yeah saying? like it just it's just seemed more like a cultural phenomena and not fact not yeah, like sure. reality okay. cool. not like but what if what if it were true what if what if you know like that's what that's what a theist would argue like what if it were the fact that an all-knowing omniscient omnipotent omnibenevolent god chose this group of people it originated in this area and that was the way that he designed it like so what you're you you don't like that but who are you like you're you're a human you you don't you don't understand god's plan what why are you upset sure uh it, it's just if god wanted to have a relationship with us like what we hear over and over again why would it's the only way he, he wished and and he wished that all men would be saved uh what why, why these borders why these cultural borders and then you what, just look at culture. What, what if he? And what, if he like, what if he doesn't wish that all men are, are to be saved? What if, according to Romans, some are made for destruction, or some are made to to be saved? What if this is all part of the plan? And, and this is yeah, you're upset. yeah. So, I mean, like, you're, you're throwing like, your hands in there. You're angry. Yeah, but this is, yeah. <laughs> this is his plan. You, you're it doesn't really seem like that's a loving God. 
Yeah, it, 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 it seems it like kind of with the omni benevolent. That that's the yeah. All, you can't all justify loving. the all loving. You're and like, oh, I just I made you make so that I can destroy you in a fire forever. Omni benevolent, like, and you're gonna it, be it seems like a and you're gonna experience it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. like this it's is, it's hard to buy, isn't it? It is. Yeah, exactly. So it's all those little be, things, like just like yeah. adding up. Things, Every time you try, like, you try, you try to think about it. You try. Every time yeah, you try no, to like, justify it. You're, maybe like, I'll maybe I, I'll be a Calvinist. Maybe I'll be a Baptist. Maybe I'll yes, be. Yes, exactly. You keep trying to justify these these yes. claims. One hundred percent. So when when it people say so like, exhausting. "Oh, you just had like the the wrong version of Christianity. You just grew yeah. up in this." Oh, you think I only sure. examined one? Sure. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> like, do you think that I didn't try to make this make sense? I definitely tried I, to make it make I sense. I wanted it to make sense so fucking yes, bad. <laughs> exactly. I had everything to lose and nothing to gain. Nothing by, to gain. Like, yeah. Yeah, like, I have nothing to gain by abandoning my faith, <laughs> except my free will and constitution to live my life uh, unattached to these hamstrings of indoctrination and yeah. I mean, I guess some really independent the, pursuit of happiness the, and joy. The thing and that I gained her. was like, <laughs> it's, I, hopefully I believe in one more true thing and one less false thing. Um, whether why that's is, like, why is that more important to you than the utility of a belief? Because and I think a lot of people sure will argue, is. A lot of people sure will argue against us, <laughs> mainly about the utility. You, you, yeah, it's useful. It is useful. Yeah, no, I, I actually, it makes you feel good. It, it, yeah, you know, it, it. You go to sleep at night and you think a, an all loving, all caring father figure type thing is looking out for you and taking care of you. Like, why are you so opposed to that? What's wrong with the utility of that thing? Um. Well, I'm not necessarily opposed to it, um, unless yeah. it's you're like, you know, causing major harm to others. But yeah, if, uh, if it's hurting other people, yeah. So I'm actually not. Necessarily what if it's just for you? To it. But if it's just for me, for one, I can't even choose what I believe or what I find logical or unlogical. Like it's just. It's uh, not something you're wanting to take away from others. You're just saying you removed it from yourself. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even try to. It was like, it was yeah. kind of one yeah. one thing after another that just led me to how I am effect. now. And it wasn't, it wasn't like, aha, I'm going to try to not believe this anymore. It was the right. opposite, really. And the opposite. So. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's what's so painful whenever mm -hmm. people dismiss my journey. <laughs> yes. It's people... so frustrating. Dude, it's, it's such so the frustrating. opposite of what people think. I want I know. To, to believe this shit. But exactly, but you know, I yeah. think people and I did. They, That's they the other that thing. I feel like it's a defense mechanism for for people because they're like, there's it's no crazy. way that they could arrive at this conclusion without some sort of like bad motivation. Mm. Um, because mm. obviously yeah. like you just you want to I, sin. the reason why we want to sin of course like <laughs> like totally do you know <laughs> how much shit i'd have got accomplished if i wanted to sin in high school i saw loopholes and every i wanted to do so <laughs> much shit but <laughs> i was extremely convinced that god was watching and would probably cut my penis off if i did the majority of the <laughs> i was convinced i could get away with so I I also thought that. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I I was absolutely convinced that Jesus was watching me at all times and also loved me, cared about me and wanted the best for me. But yeah, I was fully convinced of this thing. And so oh, yeah. me it's too. it's hurtful when I'm dismissed and when people don't actually ask me you yeah, know, but what? I mean, I also understand why they do it too, because it is a, it is biblical. It is. They have <laughs> biblical grounding for dismissing you, because only the fool has said in his heart there is no God. So you can yes. just 
you're you're dismissed automatically if you say there is no god you're 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 gone yeah like they, they yeah. have justification for these things and because the bible says so that's good enough that's that's enough yeah and, yeah and that's and then, their foundation yeah and uh, we're gonna need to wrap this up in like the next oh, minute yeah. or two because yeah, yeah. my yeah, phone absolutely. is about to die oh <laughs> shoot one okay percent. yes oh no it's okay fine. all right absolutely um, i just wanted to let you know before it died and then you're like hey where'd he go sure anyway oh, this no was problem. this was really uh fun to talk to you uh maybe I, have another this talk was a great conversation time. i i feel like we had a, a a lot of runway still left to go but i get it yeah we do yeah. i know there's so much thank to you talk about. thank I you so much about Tom. And and i do feel like that we covered a lot of ground though and i really appreciate your honesty and just thank you so much for being here and being yeah it was really this. fun you were a great host Absolutely. it was thank you good good thank you. good talking with you in person and <laughs> let me ask you something yeah. You still love people and care about humanity and want the best for everyone? Oh, my goodness. Yes. I, you know, I don't think that I've really changed all that much. I mean, yeah. in some ways, but yeah. overall, like, I'm basically the same person. Yeah. We <laughs> all know? really, we all really are pretty good deep down. Yeah. Yeah. I without, think so. without I'm, I'm an optimist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you for sharing that. And thank you for your journey, your struggle. Um, I'm here for you. I'm so sorry that you didn't have a network that was there for you whenever you deconverted. I didn't either. Um, I recommend oh, people reach out to freedom from religion. <clears throat> See ya. <laughs>